I love linters. I love it in Perl, in Python, and I love it in uh, Rust. So I'm going to talk about extreme, taking Flippy to the extreme. Here it is. Cargo new extreme Clippy. I'm going to start with a new crate a code. I'm going to get into the editor, VS code. And here uh, we have uh, the main RS, which is just the, uh, empty, nothing in there. Okay, so what can I do here? I can, of course, cargo run, nothing new. And I can run cargo Clippy that will run the default links uh, that come with uh, Cargo Clippy, with Clippy. Clippy. So here it is. Uh, this is the, the GitHub repository of Clippy, of Rust Clippy. And you can see that it has a number of, uh, it says that there are over 700 links uh, and there are various categories. And by default, some of them are on, some of them I uh, turned on as saying deny, meaning or warn, so it, they will either uh, fail or uh, at least warn if uh, we don't write or code according to the to the lint. But there are many more. So the recommendation here is to go over basically all of them and one by one enabling the ones you like. But I, especially as a beginner, uh, you won't understand more, more, more the meaning of most of them. And it will be really really tedious to to walk, go over all of them and decide which one you prefer, not prefer, especially as a beginner. But even as an advanced user, probably it's just, I, in my opinion, in a way, a waste of time. So I'm taking the opposite approach, not the one that is recommended here, but the extreme opposite. What I'm going to do is I'm going to enable all of the links, and I'm going to turn off the ones that I don't like. So I have here a web page where I already put this uh, here, so I won't need to type in everything. And I'm going to link to this web page. And just not to forget, if you like Clippy and if you like this video, then make sure you also like the video here. So click on the like button and follow the channel. I always forget to ask this. Anyway, so I'm copying this one and I'm going to put it into the cargo toml. Now there are various ways how to configure Clippy. And this is, I think, the most recent one and the least advertised one. But I just found it somehow. So I'm going to use this way. So I'm going to put here here in the cargo toml file uh, all the all the lins and uh, i set the priority to minus one in order to make it easy to disable basically them so here i also all of them are set to the deny level meaning uh, clippy will fail basically uh, if it encounters one of the problems that it uh, that it checks so i'm going to run this again cargo clippy and as you can see even on this small program the default program that just hello world, it already complains and it tells me there are nine errors. So let's go over the errors and see what, what they are about. The first one or last one, depending on where you look for, is the print standard output. So I, let's copy paste this uh, link. Uh, if I manage to copy paste for, from my edit uh, command line. So this is uh, copy and voila. It went well. Okay, so this is the explanation. It's not a lot of explanation, but basically the idea is that you don't want in your program to have print print statements printing on the standard output. Now, except if this is the, the whole program is about printing to the screen, right? But in a library, you probably won't want it. So this is what. Uh, let me enlarge this. I don't need this one. Okay, so. Here, instead of turning off this link, because I think I would want this link, instead of that, I'm going to disable it specifically for this function. So how do I do this? Here it actually says it, hello, Clippy, this one. So I put have to copy paste this one just above the, the function, and then it will allow this specific link in this function. I could actually turn it off for the whole file if I put an exclamation part here, uh, mark at the beginning, I think I have to put here a uh, an empty row, but I'm not sure. But this will turn it off for the whole file. But for now, I can. It's a. Uh, it's okay for to turn it on only turn it off only for that function. And here, I run cargo clippy. Now that complaint uh, uh, went away, and now we only have eight. So what is the next one? The next one is this cargo common metadata. What is this about? Well, let me also copy paste this one. Actually, I don't know. 
cargo how about is uh, cargo common no nah, i don't know it's better to do this this way okay here you are okay so this is about the fact that in the okay you can read it but this is about the fact that in cargo tunnel there are meta info there can be meta data and by default there are three fields but if you want to upload something to cargo to craze.io sorry then you have to fill uh, out a lot more fields uh, and this uh, this basically uh, lint basically complains about that now if you are not interested in in uh, uploading then you can turn it off and this is what i'm going to do i don't need the whole url just the name of this lint okay and then i set it to hello i don't even want i don't don't want uh, clippy even to warn about warn me about it okay so i run cargo clippy now we are down to two and uh, one of them is uh, missing docs in private items okay so another one that i don't I'm, I'm not interested in okay let's copy paste this one i don't even check what's this now hello you can go ahead and check it and so i don't i don't want to write uh, documentation i guess it's missing documentation in private items okay not really interesting not for now um, and then the last one is the blanket clipper restriction lens so this is actually complaining about the fact that I'm uh, included all these links uh, blanketly, I've enabled everything. So I obviously want this. So I'm going to allow this lint. Okay, allow. Uh, and I can even comment here uh, and I put extreme clippy. So uh, I, can say, I can say I like I like extreme clean. Okay, so this is going to be uh, committed, of course, into the version control. And now, it meaning that the other developers will see that I really, really mean it. Okay, fine. So now I enabled everything and disabled the ones that I really didn't, we don't, uh, didn't want. And now I can go on writing code. And here comes the interesting part. Lint Clippy will help me improve my code a lot. It will teach me all kinds of things, how to write code better. And that's why I use it uh, partially. Of course, I want to make sure my code is good, but especially as a beginner, I love it uh, when it teaches me and then shows me new things. And not every, not every explanation on the website is very detailed and uh, hopefully it, they will get better and better with time, but uh, already they are quite good in uh, most of them. Uh, so, uh, Let's write a little bit code here. The first thing I would do is write a function, uh, a really simple function. I just call it echo. It will get a string and it will return it as a string. Uh, so I, I'm going to uh, accept a string and a, as an SDR uh, and then return a string. I know, I know this is not very special, nothing interesting in here. Uh, I just wanted to show you how Clippy behaves with this. Now, this one is still red because, of course, I have to return something. So I type in return and I take the text uh, to owned and semicolon. Return, return. Okay. I have to type it correctly and that will be better. Okay. So the compiler is now happy except the fact that the uh, echo is not in use. So it's, it's, it's yellow. And what does Clippy say? So Clippy complains about needless return, and I can copy this, copy paste this one, and see what does that mean. Okay. So let's look at this one. What it says is that I have this return something semicolon, and it recommends that I just have the last uh, statement converted into an expression by removing the return and removing the semicolon at the end. And this is sort of the recommended way in, in Rust. So let's go with that. Okay, so now I go and remove the semicolon. So I already learned something, right? Uh, that it's a better way to write this way. This is how Rust recommends it. So let's run Clippy again. And now I get uh, something which is called implicit return. So let's go here and check what that means, implicit return. And this implicit return, this is a lint 
which is exactly the opposite of the previous lint, because the previous one told me that not to use return and semicolon, but use it without any of them. And this one tells me the opposite. So as you can see, there are lints that are directly contradict each other, which is fine. We don't have to enable all of them. The whole point here is that you can pick which one you prefer and then set your code to be written in that way. So let's say we want to go with the uh, which 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 one we want to go. We want to go with the with Rust style. So we want to disable this one. We want to allow this uh, lint to be broken. Huh? I seem that I have spaces here. Okay, doesn't really matter apparently, but I don't like them. So I set it to allow. And now if I run cargo clippy, now it's happy. Again, except of this warning uh, that I'm not using the code. So uh, I went to the suggest, I went with the suggestion and I'm going to use the standardized or the more common way in Rust. Now it all, all depends on you, uh, how you do this. And then I can put some comment this is the more common way in Rust. Okay, uh, so fine. What else? Let's do one more thing here, okay? So here I can put here a debug statement, which is just using dbg. And everything is fine. What does Clippy say? Well, Clippy say, uh, uh, Clippy says that uh, it, it, that we violated this uh, lint called dbg macro. Basically, it says that in your production code, you shouldn't have these debug statements. Uh, I don't think it actually says, let's see, uh, dbg macro. Uh, I think it doesn't say anything about uh, uh, logging. So I would put here uh, in this explanation uh, some suggestion uh, to use some logging system, because probably that's what you want instead of having these debug statements, something to log on a debug level. But you don't want this to uh, be uh, enabled. Now, you can decide here which one you like, because um, in reality, using debug, exclamation mark, uh, while you're developing is a good idea. So you don't want this Clint to complain all the time. Uh, you just want to make sure that this never enters your code base. And you can do it in two, basically, uh, ways. And what the, my suggestion would be this. So we can disable this uh, lint, which is called debug macro, right? DBG macro. And we set it to allow. So this way, let's, let's see it. This way, I, as you're developing, you can use this. But you want to make sure that when you push it out to Git, the continuous integration system will stop it, at least that. OK, so how can you do this? In the CI system, you will probably run Cargo Clippy as well. But you can also set on the command line this, deny, and then you say Clippy and dbg macro. OK, and this way, if I would write it correctly, try semicolon. OK, this way it will fail the CI system. If I look at this, this is going to uh, give my some error code, meaning that the CI system will fail, meaning that uh, it won't allow basically the DBG uh, to persist in your code base. Now, of course, you would probably want to uh, avoid even that to be uh, this to be committed. So you, if you use a pre-commit hook, you can make sure you can set configure the split commit hook, hook to also uh, run this uh, uh, command, and then it means that you can't even uh, commit uh, any code that has this dbg exclamation mark. So that would be one direction of the solution. The other is that the, really to disable this uh, dbg statements, and instead of that, rely on some logging mechanism. But that's for another story. So. I hope this little bit, uh, little bit gives you some kind of a direction of how I uh, prefer to use uh, uh, Clippy. I'm going to have a couple of other videos showing how you can configure it in the CI system and how uh, what can you do if you already have a project. Because if you already have a project that's not just starting out and you turn on Clippy, we would get millions of warnings or errors. And um, 
that's not really uh, make will make you happy anyway in order to well please do like this video if you like the video and follow the channel to make sure that you get notified when when i upload a new video and then this there is this um, bell just turn it on to make sure that you get really the notification so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time